Hey, hello everyone and welcome to Coding Simplify. Today in this video, we will discuss about data types in C++. We will cover what are data types, classification of data types and last we will discuss about primary or built-in data types in brief. Let's see what are data types. So basically, data types are the fundamental concepts in programming. They define what type of data can be stored in a variable. Let's suppose I create a variable say x or say here in this example we can say I created a variable age and I assign it to a data type called int. Int means it can store the value that is an integer value. Now I'm coming to the categories of data types in C++. So basically there are three types of data types. One is primary data types, second one is derived data types and third one is user defined data types. Now what are primary data types? So basically primary data types are the built in data types that are already present in a programming language. What are derived data types? So basically derived data types are the data types that derives from other data types. And on coming to the last subtype is user defined data types. So basically user defined data types are such data types that are created by user as per their needs. Now let's discuss about primary data types in brief. So number first primary data type that we have is integer. As the name is integer, it means that they are used to store integer value. And the keyword that we use to define an integer data type is int. And on coming to the memory space that it takes, it takes usually 4 bytes and it also depends on the system configuration that we have. So basically we will discuss about this memory space and ranges in that separate video. Now the second type of primary data type we have is a character. So as here also the name is character, it means it is used to store characters. And the keyword that we use to define a character data type is char. And it takes one byte of memory space. And here in this example, you can see I have defined char test equals to h in a quotes. It means that I have declared this test variable of char type. So that now uh, the test variable can only stores our character value. So the next primary data type that we have is our floating point. So basically floating point means that a variable can store floating values and a single precision floating values or a decimal values. Now here single precision floating point means that a variable can have up to seven decimal digits. And for that we need to use a keyword float and it takes four bytes of memory space. And here in this example you can say I have declared a variable area of float type and store a floating value to it. Now fourth type we have is a double. So basically we have covered earlier that is a floating point. So for floating point it, it stores single precision float values and now double can store double precision float values. It means that if the decimal places in the floating point can be 7 then here it can be a 14. So basically a number can store a decimal uh, values up to 14 digits. And for that we need to use a keyword double. and since it's a double and it takes as the double memory bytes that the float have. So basically float have float takes four memory bytes. Now the double will takes eight memory bytes. Now fifth data type that we have of primary type is boolean. So boolean is used to store boolean or logical values. It means that it can store only true or false. And the keyword that we need to define a variable of boolean type is bool and it takes one memory byte. Now the last primary data type that we have is void. So basically void indicates the absence of data and it usually used with function not with any variables. So whenever we will cover this function part then it will be easier for you to understand what does this void do and what does it mean. So basically when the function does not return any value then we will declare it of void type. And that's it for today's video. I hope you like the video. If you like the video then please press the like button and share your comments and feedback in the comment section. Bye bye.